Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Simple Art for Adults. My name is Erin, and today we are going to be looking at um, a technique that you can use with your watercolor pencils, um, which is actually this little fella right here. This is the Sakura Sakura Koi Coloring Brush Pen. It is a water-based ink that you can use to blend out your um, watercolor pencils. The watercolor pencils that we'll be using today are the Caran d'Ache Fan Color. This is basically the student grade version of something like the Supra Color. Um, it is a cute little set. I did receive these as a gift from a very dear friend. Um, it comes with a nice variety of colors, including a couple metallics and what I assume are going to be some like pearlescent colors or maybe just further metallics. I'm not really sure. Um, these pencils, while, while we have them out, um, they, as far as I can tell, they don't have any like identifying marks on them. So they don't have any individual numbers or anything like that. This number here, um, if you can see that see if I can get it, the 1288, that's on pretty much all the pencils. So there is no um, identifying mark to show you, you know, which color is which. So I have not swatched these. Um, perhaps I will at some point once I get to where, um, once I get to where I, the order that I want them all to stay in. So, and what I've done is I've removed a page and this is just a very small coloring page. You can tell by my hand. This came from this little coloring book I picked up at Walmart called True Colors. It's $5 for the little travel size book. Um, and I think these pictures are perfect for these kinds of tutorials. So basically, I'm going to kind of show you, number one, um, what to do with the watercolor pencils, how to make them look nice, and then how to blend them out with this instead of a, instead of a paintbrush or even a water brush, which can get messy and leave too much water on the paper. This, this is typically a better alternative. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I am going to choose some colors. Um, purples are my favorite, so I'm going to choose a light purple and a medium purple and a dark purple. And that's one nice thing about this set. They do give you plenty of colors to choose from. Let me zoom in just a little here for you guys. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the inside of one of these little petals and I'm going to color just like I would with my normal colored pencils. I'm going to apply a light layer of the lightest color. Then I'm going to apply a light layer of the medium color starting about a third of the way down. Then I'm going to apply a light layer of the darkest color at the bottom third. Then finally, I'm going to take my lighter color again and go over the whole thing. And because I feel like my blend isn't st standing out enough, I'm going to do yet another layer. I'm just going to apply a little bit more pressure so um, there's a difference in these colors that you can notice. All right. Now then, what you do with the marker, and this may get a little blurry because we're so very close, we're going to take our Koi uh, coloring blender. And we're going to use it just like we would, in, and it's a brush tip. In case you guys are curious, it is a brush tip. And we're just going to start at the light end because we don't want to drag our dark colors up or else we may end up with something we don't want. We're going to start at the light end and just blend it out. And, what, and when we activate these watercolor pencils with the brush, it's going to give us some very, very, very bright and vivid details. So it's just like using a water brush, just less messy. And I did get outside the lines there a little bit. Um, but that's no big deal. Now, once you've used a color, what you want to do is take a piece of scratch paper and just kind of scribble the color off. 
make sure you're not getting any more color off your blender. It will stain the tip just a little bit, but that's, you know, not a major concern. So now that we have that part finished, I would like to take some green and we'll go around the outside of that with some green. So in this case, I'm just going to use two colors. Let's start with a light. And this is just for showing you how it works purposes. So again, I'm not trying to make a masterpiece. <laughs> it's a very bright green. And then about halfway down, I'm going to start feathering in the darker green. And I think I'm going to go one darker as well. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out, which is more like a, a dark green, maybe even, it may even be olive -y in color. olive -y. Is olive -y a word? So, we'll do that down here at the very bottom. And then we'll take our lighter color and go over the whole thing one more time. All right, and once again, we're gonna take our blender uh, brush pen, start at the light side, and just blend it down. I should have wiped that off before I started up here because now I'm getting dark colors up here. So this is very much like watercolor painting with this brush. It's very much just like a paintbrush. So the reason why you might want to use the, um, I'm cleaning my pen off. The reason why you might want to use this um, instead of a traditional, oh, wrong way, instead of a traditional water brush is would, would be like anytime um, you're using a very thin paper like this because even if you apply like a slight amount of water it's going to pill the paper and it's going to cause it to warp and buckle um if you look on the back you will see that there is a slight amount of buckling there this is just where i tested a color earlier there is a slight amount of buckling there but nothing like there would be had i used um had i used an actual water brush pen now another way that you can use this would be to um, load your brush pen up with color so let's try it this way So basically we're just going to take it and color it over the top of the fan color here. So we have a nice blue tip and then we'll just come in, let me turn the paper so I can get a good angle. And we'll just come in and paint it on. And in this case what should happen is much like one of the chameleon pens, you should end up with a nice gradient from light or from dark to light. works fairly well. Clean my tip off. There is still quite a bit of color on there and I don't want any color left on there. So basically you're just going to scribble with it until it's clear again and you get no more blue. All right, so we can do that again with a different color. This time we'll do a pink. We'll take our pink pencil and load the brush. Now again, it will stain the marker. I do, I do wanna make that clear. Your marker will end up stained, but as long as after every single color and every time you use it, you take the time to clean the, the nib off really well, um, it won't ruin it. And then in this case, we're gonna go in this area. And I'm gonna make a giant mess because this is a very small area. Now if I turn my brush this way, I should get more, more color because there's still some loaded on there. So 
And then once again, I'm going to clean all the pink off. And I have some high up on the nib, so it's taking me extra long to get it off. <laughs> yeah, but see, as you can see, I've got some staining happening on the on the brush part of the marker, but that's okay because when I come in and color, it won't leave anything behind, and that's what you want. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you today. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on the Koi water brush uh, pen that you can use with your water-based colored pencils. Again, just disregard how sloppy this is because I wasn't going for perfection in any way, shape, or form. Um, the goal, again, was just to kind of show you guys how it works. Um, if you are new to my channel, I do want to welcome you. I have gotten several uh, subscribers over the last 30 days or so, so I do want to take the time to welcome each of you and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, for those of you who are only um, who have only been here for a little while, and perhaps those of you who um, this is your first video of mine that you're getting a chance to watch, I do a lot of I do a lot of different things. Uh, my channel is a very very eclectic one. Um, I do color alongs, I do some tutorials, I do some product reviews, um, I teach some techniques from, from time to time, just all kinds of different things. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button, and then if you click the little bell, you'll get a notification each time I upload a new video. Um, otherwise, please give my video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it so that more people do get a chance to see it. And as always, if you're interested in the supplies that I've used today, which will be the Koi Coloring Brush Pen and the Karen Dosh Fan Color Watercolor Pencils, you will find some links to those downstairs in the description box. Again, I do want to thank everybody for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and have a wonderful afternoon.